Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read the surah, Al-Hakum al-Takathur, Abdullah ibn al-Shakhir was present. He said to him, he, he said to those who were present, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yaqul ibn Adam, Mali, Mali. Man says, the son of Adam, man says, Mali, Mali, my wealth, my wealth. وَهَلَّكَ يَبْنَ آدَمْ And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then said, he asked, And O oh son of Adam, do you really have any wealth? إِلَّا مَا أَكَلْتْ فَأَفْنَيْتْ Except that which you have eaten and therefore finished. O oh لَبِسْتْ فَأَبْلَيْتْ Or which you have worn and worn out. O tasaddaqt, or which you have given in charity for umdayt, and therefore you have sent it for yourself to your afterlife. Do you have any wealth other than these three? And in another hadith, again related by my Muslim rahmatullahi alayhi in his sahih and by others, from Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiyallahu an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yaqul ibn Adam, man, man says, the son of Adam says, Mali, Mali, my wealth, my wealth. وَإِنَّمَا لَهُ ثلاث. Man has only three types of wealth. مَا أَكَلْ فَأَفْنَى That which he has eaten and therefore finished. أو لبس فأبلى, Or which he has worn and worn out. أو مَا أَعْطَى فَأَقْنَى Or which he has given, i.e. in charity, and thereby hoarded a reward and wealth for himself in the akhirah. وَمَا سِوَى ذَلِكَ And anything other than these three categories of wealth, فَهُوَ ذَاهِبٌ So that is about to disappear. وَتَارِكُهُ لِلنَّاسِ And he is about to leave it for others. And that's what wealth is. Prophet ﷺ informs us that man is forever saying, My wealth, my wealth. But in reality, he has no wealth. He has no wealth. Except what he has eaten. So if there, is, if, if there is food which he has bought from his wealth, or food which he has earned and acquired, when he eats that food, that food belongs to him. Because he's eaten it, he's consumed it, it's nourished his body, it's given him satisfaction, and it's perished. If there's a set of clothes, he's worn the clothes. He's benefited by wearing those clothes. Those clothes have protected him from the elements from the elements, from cold, from heat, from wind. And they've protected him, sheltered him, clothed him, and he's worn them out, now they're useless for anybody else. So he has made full use of those clothes. Those clothes belonged to him. That food belonged to him. That food was his, those clothes were his. Or a third category, anything which he gives to someone else, Food, clothing, shelter, accommodation, wealth, money, cash, which he gives to someone else in charity. Then, even though he has given it to someone else in charity, and apparently it doesn't belong to him anymore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed it still belongs to him, because what he gives in charity, he has secured for himself, and he has carved that for himself by name, it is waiting for him in the hereafter. But apart from these three things, there is nothing else which belongs to him. Because everything else has not perished, has not been worn out, and it's still there for the taking. So he may have a billion in his bank account, but that billion does not belong to him unless he eats it or wears it. Because whatever else, apart from what he has eaten and therefore it's perished, and it's finished, apart from what he has worn, and therefore it's worn out, apart from this, anything else, even though it may be in his name, it's actually waiting to be seized by others. For وَذَاهِبٌ It will disappear from him. He will go also وَتَارِكُهُ nas, And he will leave it for others. So that's what we do. We slave our entire lives, so that others may squabble over the wealth that we leave behind. We don't eat even though we can, so that we earn more money, so that others may feed off that money. We have starved in order to feed others, without any reward. We have lost sleep 
so that others may sleep without any reward on our part. That's the reality of wealth.